she's an up-and-coming actress and comedian that has been making the rounds of the uh, comedy festival circuit. Tonight she appears at the Friday evening gala, Miss Fortune Tellers. She's recently competed in the Seattle International Comedy Competition and appeared at the Sudbury Comedy Festival and North by Northeast. A relatively young comedic talent in her early 30s, she seems to have been born with a brick wall behind her back. That's better than a... Uh I actually don't entirely know what that means. It was we got that somewhere from uh, some press thing, but I, I you'll have to Stand explain. Stand up comedy. Dis, uh, that's right. You, oh, I see. Born see? with a brick born wall. With a brick that's wall. it. Yes. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Despite what Christopher Hitchens might believe, this girl is funny. But, <laughs> but eligible bachelors everywhere may not be amused by her latest act, a man badical. To explain exactly what she means, please welcome Claire Brasso. Nice to see you. Thanks nice for doing it. Nice to see you this. too. Now, I know you've been busy as a comedian, but mm -hmm. the thing that you're getting a lot of attention for is this, this uh, recent uh, man badical yes. that you're on. Yes. What does this involve? Um, so I started on May 18th, 2010. Uh, there was a list of very strict rules. So the idea was basically to, I was, you know, I was 33 years old when I started. I was not happy with where I was at in relationships, usually dating comics which everyone knows will never bring you any happiness, and, uh, except if they're female comics. And uh, <laughs> I just kind of wanted to change where I was not happy, yeah. where I was going. And I wanted to take a year to focus on myself and my work and all of that time that I was investing in dudes to invest it in myself. So I'm almost done. So man badical means no... No sex. Well, the rules were very strict, like no sexting, no text, no kissing, no flirting, no nothing. But I will say I did break a lot of those rules upon falling in love with somebody. Um, I, I know. I couldn't what? help it. I couldn't help it. You can't... I know, I couldn't what do you mean you it? broke some of those rules? I didn't break the main ones. Sounds like you ones. broke all the rules. No, I didn't. I broke those ones. Did I didn't. you fall in love with a man? I did fall on in love with a man. On your man badical. I did. I couldn't help it. I loved him before we'd met personally. I knew who he was. This sounds like an utter failure, the man badical. It, well, or it, perhaps a good, a good uh, facilitator, absolutely. an enabler of finding someone you love. Well, no, because it didn't work out. Oh. Um, this is a roller coaster. I know. So on the man badical, yeah. where you've sworn off men, yes. you fell in love with a man. I did. And then it didn't work out. No, it didn't. <laughs> <sighs> why didn't it work well, out? you put it like that, Jean. Yeah. Well, um, why didn't it work out? Yeah. Well, there's a few things. First of all, I'm on a mambatical, <laughs> you know. I couldn't I, give him the goods. You didn't tell him that. No, you, he knew. He knew. He knew. He knew he was getting involved with someone who's on a mambatical. Exactly. And he's a man. He's a man. So it's badical. It's, yeah. 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 So he knew that there was no, you know, getting the goods. And uh, he lives in a different country. He lives in the States, okay. L.A., yeah. which, you know. Uh, he doesn't come up to Canada anymore, and uh, I just, uh, <laughs> not because of me, all right? Take it easy. Um, but, you know, it was just too difficult. It, they weren't getting hostile. <laughs> I'm just very Take it sweat. easy. <laughs> Everyone, calm down. Yeah. Everybody's um, on your side. It's okay. <laughs> okay, that yeah. never happens. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so it just, it didn't work out. But And some people look at it as a failure. I didn't have sex with him. Some people see it as a failure because I did break a lot of rules, but mm. I don't because it's my project. I can't really fail. And I learned... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Thanks. That's a very yeah. affirming idea. You like that? Yeah. Everyone can start a project, and even <laughs> if it doesn't work out, they didn't fail because it's their project. Yeah, you decide, guys. Yeah. You decide. No, but I feel like I learned a lot, and, uh, and, and actually, you know, it was a blip. It was a three-month blip in the year, and uh, I learned so much about... I didn't sleep with him. See, I didn't. all of my questions are now moot because my questions okay. were like, since you started your man diet, are there any particular delicacies that have especially tempted you? Yes, well, yes. But now I know you've been in love. You've had a relationship no, during your man No, it wasn't a relationship. We were not in a relationship. You were in love. I was in love with him. He wasn't in love with me. Oh. Well, thank you. This is <laughs> dark comedy. Yeah, this. yeah. yeah. So, uh, so are you going to end the man battle? Well, yeah, it ends on uh, May 18th. And what do you do to celebrate the end of a man battle? Well, <laughs> thank you for asking, Xi'an. Yes. I don't know if you have plans. <laughs> I'm busy with Andrea Martin yeah. and Nikki Payne. Yeah. But <laughs> wow, I can't follow those girls. <laughs> I'd have to be the appetizer. <laughs> um, I'll open for them, and then they... <laughs> Not like that. Not like that. Not like that. 
I didn't, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that would be a hilarious. Oh, no, no, it's all endeavor. very funny, yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. no longer on the air, but everything's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I understand <laughs> you, 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 you're appearing in an upcoming film. <laughs> I'm changing yeah. the topic. Uh, if, I, if I Were You yeah. is the name of the film. Yeah, with Marcia Gay Harden and Aidan Quinn. Yes. Well, yeah. tell us about this. Um, we shot that last year. Um, I'd worked with the producers a couple of times before, and um, mar working with Marcia was absolutely everything you would hope it would be and more. She's fantastic and and it's a comedy which is really nice These to see. These are heavyweight her. actors. Yeah. Marcia Gade Harden and, and, and Aiden, Aiden Quinn. I yeah. actually didn't have any scenes with Aiden but we you know we met Which on is set. good because of the man baddicle. Right. Well actually yeah exactly. His eyes. Whoa. <laughs> Like he, you made him. You're terrible at this. I know. Well, that's yeah. why this project is so hard. Yeah. People are like, "Oh, I've been on a man medical for <laughs> ten years." I'm like, "Well, I haven't. I'm boy crazy. Right. It's hard for me." Um, but Marsha, just to see her doing comedy is so great. And there's actually a lot of Shakespeare in the play. She plays King Lear, mm. and um, and it's just it was a really fun, fun film to make. And I I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it. You're yet. acting. You're part of the galas at the Winnipeg Comedy Festival here. Yeah. Tell me where you want all this to go. Where's the ideal for Claire Russo? Um, I would just like to make more money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know. And then um, Nikki's parents will be happy. Yeah, here. exactly. I was listening to Nikki, I'm like, I also peed in a jug in LA, but it did not have anything to do with um, medical stuff. I was like, <sighs> it didn't cost money, but it cost my dignity. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. What's happening? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, <laughs> listen. <laughs> That was your answer to where do you want to go with your career? That's, it's very, yeah, yeah. That's the it's problem. It's a pleasure to have you Thank here. You, you know, we've known each other for a while. Yes. I'm very excited that things are going Thank so well you for so you. Much, Claire Brosseau, everybody. You. Comedian and actress. Thanks for being